It's so interesting how different cities, different countries, all these places, they reflect things that that make them that make them special. And even even though sometimes we can't really point out what makes a place special or what clicks, it's just there. And maybe even we, we don't need to define it, but uh, I want to see if you agree with me or you disagree with me. So he's gonna move everybody around. This car cannot even, this car can't even move there. He might go over our feet. Yeah, that car couldn't even go that Hi. way. That's a constant yelling, beeping, yelling, beeping, and then even more yelling and more beeping, and then a car comes in. Uh-oh, then another is coming. Oh my God. It's, it's impossible. The charm of a small city placed in a bigger urban environment. So you get the big small city in Valencia. <laughs> some locals and some tourists. This is by far one of my favorite areas of Istanbul. With the Galata Tower, we saw it on a very windy day. I'm sure now it's gorgeous because the skies are clear, the weather is so perfect. But we're not gonna go up, we're just gonna walk around. Careful. So many shops, mm. gift shops, souvenir shops. We're going to the Spice Bazaar because we've never been there. We went to a couple of Chushi, which is their biggest market for any, everything. The biggest in the world and the oldest. Is it there? It's there. The Spice Bazaar is there. Oh, yeah. 1664. It looks a little bit like the Grand Bazaar, but I thought we were going to find spices only. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Boys and berries. They don't sell this anywhere. I want that on the way, on the way. <laughs> so last time when we were here, everything was locked down and only foreigners can walk around. So this was empty. No people. Hey, we couldn't go inside the mosque. It was closed. Yeah, this was all closed, so now we can visit. I wonder if there is any reason why there are only irises here on the, what I believe are graveyards. Way many people. Nothing like last time. It does look different with the sunlight. We got it almost on the sundown last time. It was very mystical. It sounds different too. Be the bad guy. One of the best views of Istanbul. You can change me. during the busiest time here in Valencia, during fires. In Valencia, you have, you know, Turia, a, what, 13 kilometer long park. I don't need a city to have a big landmark. Valencia pretty much doesn't have that, except the beautiful arts and sciences center, really futuristic, very different from, let's say, this architecture here. Before, you continue with the video. Please do me a favor, it takes only a second to like and subscribe. I like this too. I'm very thirsty and I can never have enough of pomegranate juice. So let's go.
they're both very walkable cities. I mean, in Valencia, anywhere I go, it takes me about, let's say, 40 minutes to maximum an hour to go to any point in Valencia. These are just residents giving food to the, to the cats. Many houses, like five, six. These are like carpets, like a... Look at the designs. <laughs> Very funny. I found the metro a little bit easier here in Valencia. It's, uh, of course, it's not as connected. So it's much simpler, smaller. It's getting even better because now they're adding more stops. But I'm totally satisfied with the metro in Valencia. So I like that. And I like that I can pretty much walk anywhere in the city in about 20 to 30 minutes. And I'm on the famous Taksim Square and we'll just walk around. It is a pretty beautiful day here. So let's see what the day has to offer. You can just enjoy the endless coffee shops, high-end, upscale shopping. Fancy Western Union. Chocolate Sarai, that means chocolate palace. King of chocolate. Look how, let's go closer, see what it is. It's a coffee place, maybe. <laughs> That's actually a, a seating area, <laughs> but it's not open. Already bumped into a few people. It's one of the busiest streets here. The life never stops. Last time we were in Istanbul, we stayed at a hotel right here in the center. It was quiet because it was during uh, the lockdown, but now it's very different. Very different, very, very busy. So let's go and um, maybe get some something to drink because I'm getting so thirsty. But yeah, everything's open, everybody's out. It is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it doesn't go without the attention. It's, I mean, I was thinking getting away from people. You can't get away from people in Istanbul. It's like everywhere. It's packed. Little alleys, cozy, beautiful. <laughs> You can walk through 13th century old bridges, city packed with history, many marble little plazas hidden everywhere, beautiful, beautiful romantic streets, not to mention picturesque, friendly people, great transportation for the size of the city. people and their food never ending and there are all kinds of shops stores cosmetic stores clothing stores everything and what's life without Starbucks just when you think you saw all the brands and all the their Turkish brands their all the famous world brands it's not over nothing's over ah smells so good Got my juice. You find these juice places pretty much everywhere in Istanbul, especially around the tourist areas. And I got a fresh squeezed pomegranate and orange. It is so good. This street has all these small uh, handmade shops. So we're gonna keep exploring here, it's so beautiful. So many different coffee shops and everything's outdoors. Just great atmosphere, really. It's 
promised I'm gonna try every single place lentil soup everywhere. I said so. I'm so happy to try something different. This is a buckwheat salad with some um, some fresh fresh lettuce, dill, avocado, lots of olive oil, and goat cheese. It's a jewelry lookum. It's pieces of gold. Oh, that looks amazing. Karakuy Golio Glu. It's the one of the best lukum and baklava shops. No, actually baklava shop. Let's go. This place is so confusing. I don't know where to wait to order. Should we go first here or here? <laughs> Pistachio. Look at this. Oh, I want it. I want this. I want this. I want this. <laughs> okay, so this is for... Well, that I haven't seen red baklava. <laughs> I can't believe a lost of blind didn't like it. He didn't like baklava. Turkish coffee straw, Turkish baklava. They have so many kinds, but when in doubt, just go with whatever they're, they're offering, which is an assortment of a few different pieces, six pieces actually. A lot of them have pistachio, and I think this is my favorite so far, but let's try one by one. Pecans, like a pecan taste. It's so good. The total for this in a Turkish coffee was about 84 lira. So like five, five dollars, something like that. Valencia is getting some good restaurants as well, more and more every day. But we still have some things to wish for and one of these things it's more international food and when i say international i don't mean just like thai food made for foreigners but like a little more authentic a little stronger a little just real international food oh it smells so good what is it there's so much atmosphere here I can't even describe it. It's like all these smells and and the fishermen and the cafes and ice creams. It's oh. I want to sit right there. And look at these terraces there. I can imagine the sunset here from having a dinner or coffee, definitely not wine, because wine is like 80% tax or something. I can't believe it. I got shocked when I saw my my um, my bill. Wine is 80% overpriced. That's the bad thing about Istanbul. <laughs> Look at this, so beautiful. I mean, where else can you see that? And all the fishermen, a pretty unique place, I must say. I think nothing fits Istanbul better than the word intense, chaos, hectic, dynamic in everything. People here don't rest, they don't relax. It's all, but it's actually very weird. It is hectic and it is chaotic, but it's not, how can I say, they still enjoy life. They take their time in everything. And in Turkish, it's called tabaet. So you do everything with pleasure and you put a lot of time to build that quality. And if that's not enough, it just happened to be on two continents. Europe and Asia. And you can see a little bit of the Galata Tower right there. Look at this. You can hear the prayer here. Yeah, this is, this is some underpass. Of course, businesses. Here, everything is business, 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 business. Everybody has a business. <laughs> some cool jackets for men, no? Look at this gray one. If you look at the different points that Valencia has, you'd realize how underrated this city is. And it is the third largest city. It has about 800,000 people. It shouldn't be as unknown as it is, but it actually is. Picturesque, friendly people, great transportation for the size of the city, walkable, bikeable, super safe, with very good universities, a beach, great weather year-round. Did I miss anything? Valencia makes it a better place to live. 
and I would like to hear your comments. Where do you prefer and where do you picture yourself living? Because don't forget, it's very different if you visit one place as a tourist and it's totally different story when you actually live there. Let me know in the comments where would be your dream place to live, your dream city. And if you want to see my video of the, my first visit here in the mosque, you can watch it.